Good evening, Facebook Live. I haven't done one of these things for a long time. I'm just for um, somebody else to join. Um, I have added someone, but I don't know. Let me just check and see what's going on. Um, tonight we're going to be talking about the difference between purpose and passion. Oh, there she is. There she is. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Very good. Very good. I was just saying that tonight we're going to do this live mm -hmm. between us and we're going to take talk about our own takes, my take and your take, yeah. um, on the difference between purpose and passion. But I think um, a couple of things before we get started. So if you are watching live, say hi because we like to um, hear from you. We love interaction, don't we, Anna? Definitely, yes. We the want more to hear. interaction, the better. If you've got questions, you can drop them in. I think. Can I see the comments? Maybe you can drop them in the comments. We can ask. We can ask the questions. Um, uh, yeah. What we're going to do is we'll, as we go through this, we'll, you know, tell you how you can get hold of me or you can get hold of Anna <laughs> if you want to ask more questions or you want to work with either of us. Because in a minute we're going to describe. We're going to let you know what we both do. And um, if you're watching live, you can just drop in a little live in the comment box so we know you're here. If you're watching replay, you can drop replay in the comment box so um, we know you're watching on the replay. But either way, if you're watching live or you're watching replay, you can still put comments in the box and then we'll come back to you. Um, you know, even if it's on the replay, we can still come back to you with questions because we can see those comments. So I can see Rachel is watching and Leanne is watching. How are you two ladies? Um, so how about we start with, Anna, do you want to tell everybody what you do? Yes, definitely. Yes. Um, well, I work as a somatic transformation as well as, uh, relationships and intimacy coach. Um, somatic transformation means that I'm very much body-based when it comes to personal transformation and uh, healing. So I work with embodiment, how you can, how your body can take a shape of what you want to create in life and how you can express through the body what you want to express. So it's a big part of my work that I'm doing as well as I use the same principles, how you can break free from your old pattern. Um, my cat is saying hello. hello. Uh, you hello. body as well. And um, I work with uh, relationships and uh, intimacy and, and as well with big focus on, on the body. Mm. Yeah, so this Amazing. is- Amazing, and, 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 you know, and so, let me show, I'll just tell you because I want to ask you some questions about that. So, before we get into that, I'll just tell you quickly, tell everybody quickly what I do. Um, I'm a coach, I work with people that are feeling unfulfilled and lacking meaning in their life to find their purpose and passion, and that's my little corner of the market. And the reason I do that corner of the market is because for me, I went whilst people, whilst you can feel successful, and, and I'm sorry be successful in in broad terms in life without those without purpose and passion sorry i feel a lot of people are going along thinking they true they don't have their true purpose and passion and i know we both we both have that um for me i didn't find it until quite late in life i knew i had successful a successful life in inverted commas but i still knew there was something more to find um, and i didn't find that in life until i was uh, 40. And so now I work with people that have got, you know, that want to find that purpose and that passion and, and have got, um, and, and, and want more meaning in their life. So that's what I do and I love it. I know what you do and you love it. We are fortunate to come across our purpose and yeah. our passion. So I've got a little question to, I've got a question for you and your cat to ask you, um, a little bit about what, like, how long did it? 
how long do you think it took you in your life to come to find out what your because i've just said a little, little bit about me um mm. to find to come to the point where you were living your purpose okay by the way kev's watching can you see that anna on your screen kev's yeah, watching. yeah yeah i saw him popping up hi kevin yeah hi kev <laughs> nice to see you here oh thank you for your heart um yeah, well, I think it's my entire life, uh, but uh, I would say actively the last uh, 10, 12 years, maybe, and it was changing um, and uh, coming back to the topic of this life, purpose and passion, I have lots of passions in my life, but they not all of them became my purpose because I believe some of them will stay at the level of your passion. Now for mm. the purpose, it's something like how I could recognize is just a deep knowing, okay, this is what I'm here to do. And then yeah. the, the angle can change. So it can change from, I know on my path, uh, in the beginning, I was talking more about personal development and mindset work, and later it changed uh, towards more of uh, embodiment and somatic transformation and spiritual growth type of work. Yeah. Yeah. You? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I think if I, hi Kelly, um, I think if I, when I started to truly look back, when I, how far is it? So when I when I when I had that actually had that aha moment, when it came to me clear that I was what my purpose was, and that was coaching, although I hadn't quite found my actual niche yet. When I looked around me, when I when I when I started to track back into a timeline, I realised it went back, back a very very long time, and I think it it started early on when I was in my teens, um, but it. Really Really ramped up when I was um, probably about well when I first went travelling when I was sort of nineteen or twenty and I mm -hmm. came across or I was it was brought to my attention this idea of you know um, you know personal development like you personal development and growth and mindset and I don't want to say how long ago that was now but it for, for, for actually for the amount of time it was ago. This the way it came to me was actually it was actually on um believe it or not it was on a sales training course when I was in Australia, and when I look back now they were so far ahead of the game, and it completely amazing but it blew my mind, and that's when it sparked my interest. But like you, it was the journey you started off with mindset and doing a bit of work on myself and growing, and then I think like you, it's been now probably the last thirteen or fourteen maybe. Yeah, twelve to fourteen years um, mm -hmm. that I've been more living it and and believing it and 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 you know um, and, and and living it and it being part of my life and something that I actually do. So the there was that growth period and the true the true true true. It's almost like going through that period of time and like what's all this about? Like what's all this about? What's it what's it all coming to? Before getting to that actually point and going, all oh, right, okay, I you know I get. This was about 12, 14 years ago. Mm. I'm going, okay, that's what it all all been about. How about you? Yes. Yeah, so it's, um, I think I was always interested in this human nature. Yeah. Like all around this personal development. But then um, it grow, it has grown into the real purpose in the last, yes, I would say 10, maybe 10, 12 years mm. and um, like hearing that I want you to ask the question so what do you believe is the difference between purpose and passion because I and believe there is a lot of confusion that uh, people have around these two things yeah definitely it actually took me quite a long time to work things out because there's these kind of phrases that, that are um, you know we would have heard that you would have heard in the personal development world in the mindset world and stuff like that and there's one particular that stands out to me to to um to share and it says if you if you if you if you're doing your passion you'll never work a day i might have butchered that but it's something like if you're doing your passion you'll never work a day in your life which 
kind of points to the fact that if you're working what you're passionate about, you know, it doesn't seem like work. And I used to think about that. And I don't, I now kind of, I don't, I'm not going to say I disagree with it. Maybe I am. I don't fully agree with that because, as you were just saying or asking, I do believe that the two things are quite separate. And my understanding, because I did get those confused, I was <laughs> like, well, you know, I should be, what am I passionate about? And what's my purpose? And I did get those two things confused. And now, after a few years of tumbling around with this question, for me, the purpose is something that's, like you said, is deeply ingrained in me. It's something that you will just, um, you, you're not going to give up, you know? And if somebody says, you know, somebody said to me a while ago, when, like, what's your timeline on this? And I'm like, there is, what, what do you mean? What To what timeline? There isn't a timeline. You know, something, your purpose is something that you just know is always there and you're never going to give up on. Mm -hmm. um, and it drives you. Uh, whereas I now see, and I'm, I'm, I'm passionate about my purpose, just to get things completely mixed up. Um, but I think for me, when it comes to passion, it, it, the passionate things are, I'm a bit, me personally, I could be a bit more fickle about them. Like I could be passionate about something on one day and mm -hmm. like, oh, next, you know, next year, I'm not, I'm not bothered about that too much anymore. And I'm passionate about something else. Um, so I think, think for me, that's, that's the difference. Like a passions, they can be there. Hi, Julie. Hi, Lynn. Passions can, for me, passions can come and go. Um, and I'm okay with that. It might be different for somebody else. But I'm okay with passions to come and go. Like today, I might like coffee, and tomorrow it might be wine. And the day after, I might not drink coffee or drink wine. And the day, you know, next week it's going to be pizza. Although pizza passion has stayed in my life for a very, very long time, I have to say that. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, then it might be something else and something else. So for me, I let me personally, everybody's different. I allow myself and my passions to come and go and change. Mm -hmm. um, my purpose never changes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel purpose is uh, what some people call it as a deeper calling. It's a knowing. It's what your soul came here to do, to realize. And it can yeah. be very different from, for people. It's, uh, I sometimes I feel it does necessarily need to be something big. Sometimes purpose and especially during certain periods of your life, is just to raise your family. And for some people, it's about raising a big family, and it's your sure. purpose. Yeah, uh, but it's it's something that you, for me, it, it feels like a deep knowing. Okay, this is what I'm here to do, mm. and you don't give up. And it doesn't mean um, it doesn't feel like you're not walking. <laughs> Or sometimes it feels like work in a sense. Uh, if you want to realize your self purpose, you need to invest into into it. It's it's what I have learned on my journey. While passion is is something slightly different. Like for example, I was really and I'm still passionate about dance, but it never was my purpose. Also, it. Mm. One time, like at certain moment, I was feeling like that, but I know that it was more coming from my like ego <laughs> rather than my soul. I think the mm. difference as well is when like, it's 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 when your soul is talking. This is this is more like a purpose. Mm. Yeah, and when I'm talking about purpose, I I like differentiating between universal purpose we all share and i feel it's about expanding in our capacity to give and receive love and uh, we go through life circumstances which open us to be able to give and receive love at a greater level this is something you have when you're born you don't even look to, mm. need to look for it and another one is more like individual level soul purpose it's it's very much related to as well your gifts like what you came here to give your unique unique gifts yeah and and how do you think that 
a journey to let's say when you when you kind of and, and there are many phases right and i want to i think i want to say you're right there's different levels of purpose so you know like you say raising a family and and then there's that you that kind of unique gift which you can say raising a family is a unique gift as well and there's that there's that deep desire for that unique gift what i think um what does when you got kind of got because i think a lot of people are confused about what their what their purpose is mm -hmm. which is why i do what i do yeah when you when you saw sort of settled on what it was how did you then how did that make you feel mm. uh when i realized that this is my purpose yeah yeah i think it gives you a sense of uh, fulfillment fulfillment yeah. it gives you yeah. a big sense of uh, aliveness as well and joy yeah. also sometimes yeah. you have days where you feel frustration <laughs> yeah <but> well <laughs> we're talking about that in a second. yeah yeah i think yeah, absolutely hi sally yeah but uh, as you know, like, kev's just made a comment now a, a, oh. for me fashion what does he say that drives you while purpose is the guiding principle that gives meaning to gives meaning to your journey yeah exactly exactly mm -hmm. kev sorry i interrupted you then but yeah yeah Yes. So this was basically the feeling. Yeah. How about you? And it's funny. Yeah. Well, I was going to say it's funny that you, because I did, I got down on a little piece of paper here, just so you can <laughs> see a couple of things that I made, like just a couple of notes of what I thought was that feeling when you settle on what your purpose is and and i want to echo what you said that like when you find your purpose that doesn't make it easy mm. they, like it doesn't mean all of a sudden the light goes on well the light does go on but that doesn't mean that all of a sudden there's you've got a completely smooth passing path in front of you and everything becomes easy it's far from mm. that um mm. but what i think is, is what i've written down here is that when you when you settle on what it is um I've written freedom, which you mentioned, and aliveness. And I think it gives you like a mind freedom as well, because you're like, you can kind of discount other things. It gives you that, that understanding of like, no, this is my purpose. So when other things come along, because I know for me going up to that time when I sort of, you know, put it all together, it was, I, I was questioning like, you know, and I've got this good job and i've got this nice life and i've got this nice you know friends and family i've got a nice house whatever but there's still something missing and the yeah. missing part was the what what's the what's the, the the thing that i've got to give what's the bigger thing even though i was still doing i was coaching at the time sort of um no no i wasn't actually i wasn't so i had this you know i was learning all stuff and i had this knowledge and understanding and i think when you find it it gives you some freedom and like mm. you said it's it gives you an aliveness um and it and it gives you that it gives you that direction and you know that you're not there's something inside you that drives you and you're just not going to give up yeah yes yes yeah i love it yeah but and, uh, what, what yeah. do you say, um like if a person comes to you and asks you okay this is my life I don't know what is my purpose, how you can help them to find it, like maybe, maybe steps or tips. Yeah. Yeah. The, what, the way I work is everything. I, I, I've kind of developed like over the, using my own experience, I've developed a program over the, the years of, as you well know, and over the years of trial and error and let's face it, you know, fucking a lot of things up before you get to a point where you go this is like this is going to work um and using my own experiences it's like i work with people that are you know it's kind of it's while there's a structure and a framework it's, it's bespoke as well and on a one-to-one -one basis but the first thing that i do which i find is is like essential and you just can't move forward because i didn't have it 
is you can't move forward until you've got that clarity. Hi, Steph. Hi, Kaylee. Until you've got that absolute clarity of what your purpose is. So, from from my from the way I work with people, my program that I've you know now developed is that we sit in that place of of, of five finding the clarity of what your purpose is and we don't move forward from that until we found it because we can't like until you've found the clarity you can't move forward mm -hmm. so we sit in that space until we find out what the purpose is um and then we go on to the next phase and the next phase is is understanding where, where you are in life really understanding about what, what's 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 holding you back what habits have you developed where you know where are you with your uh, the subconscious behavior where are you with your subconscious mind what's what things have come in that are messing you up right now mm -hmm. um, and once we, we uncover all those things because we know you, you know a lot about subconscious behavior then once you've got the clarity then you understand what subconscious what what behaviors you developed that are holding you back mm -hmm. then then we move on to the last phase and the last phase is putting it together and creating a new path to the future. So how's this actually going to work in this new world that you're in? Like you're a new person. So we've got rid of old habits. We've got the idea. Now we've got rid of all the fog and understand, not understanding what it is. And this doesn't mean it's going to be perfect, but then we make a new map into the future of like, oh, I'm, and, and I think what is, the last part is really important because it's understanding that you're going out into the world as a new person because you've got clarity of understanding what it is you're doing and that gives you the freedom and then you've got you've uncovered the, the, the bad habits that you've created mm -hmm. um to keep you where you are so now it's going out and i think the last part of the third part of the third phase is the most important because you're going out into the world with these new beliefs and this fresh understanding this fresh clarity and that sometimes can be the hardest part how, mm. like when, when you're working with people, how do you, how, how do you how do you uncover things? Mm. Or have you got any questions about what I just said? Uh, uh, well, for me, it sounds pretty clear. Clarity is number one. Clarity <laughs> is number one. Clients. Yes. Well, from my side, it's something that uh, I cover when I work one-on-one -on -one with, uh, with people. It's one of the subjects we cover. And um, like I will give um, just the indication of what I normally uh, invite people to look into. And the first one is uh, like, what is the theme of your life? What you have been struggling with the most? What was your core wound that was present in your life and you were able to overcome it and heal it? Or maybe it's like not living in the body, being always stuck in the head. So, or maybe it's a fear of intimacy, whatever it was for you. And normally, uh, wh what I believe, what you're struggling the most, sometimes when you go on the other side, when you heal it, your purpose gets unlocked. And normally it is related uh, to yep. what you have been struggling with. Yeah. Yeah. So this is one very, very, one big thing. Then the second one is, what people are coming to you with, uh, like what kind of support or help they they normally ask from you, right? Maybe they always ask about advices with their relationships or their health, what it is. Normally it indicates what are your strengths and your gifts. And some of them uh, are so natural that you don't even realize you have them. So the more natural they are, uh, to you, the I think the greater these gifts are, and so often we just don't even know that we have them. And mm. the third piece, it's as well like what breaks your heart or what makes your heart thin. Like what's what's really important for you. And if you think about uh, these three things, it's it's already will give you a very good indication. And what I love as well doing is um, invite people to talk like verbally to express and then to notice 
uh, how much your liveness and joy is there because it gives you the indication between ego driven and your soul driven and if it's uh, ego driven normally it's coming from the head and you're just trying to make it up it feels like a forcing or 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 something like oh it's cool that's why i have this purpose while the soul driven mm. is something which is more coming from your heart and this is where your whole body lights up and you get filled with the liveness and joy so mm. yeah yeah, I think there's there's a couple of things in there that really resonate with me. One was the thing that we, we talked about the first level and that kind of un, unlock unlocking. And that's really, for me, you know, it's, it's very, obviously we'd use a different process, but for me, it's very similar. Until you un, unlock in that first phase of what your purpose is and what it means to you, mm -hmm. then you, you don't get the next phase. And, and your, your, I think when you talk about When you talk about the aliveness, um, I think when, when, when you bring that, when you, when you do that unlocking or you bring that clarity and un unlocking in your case and then like clarity in my case and understanding, then you do see that light going on mm -hmm. in people and you just think it, and like, it doesn't, it doesn't, I think I want to say it like it, it doesn't always need to be huge right this doesn't have to always have to be a massive life-changing i think this is it, it's just come to me now but it doesn't if somebody's listening to this and thinking oh my god this sounds horrendous and my whole life is going to be thrown upside down and it's going to be crazy and i'm gonna have to change what i do and i'm gonna have to change my job and it doesn't it doesn't have to be like that it can be something in, it's your purpose and it doesn't mean that you end up on a Thursday night doing Facebook lives and talking about it with other people. It's, it's what it's what to you, but it does unlocking somebody that drive, but it doesn't that like it's, it's the joy and happiness. And I know we get joy and happiness from having passions, but I think the joy and happiness from the, hi Marta, the joy and, hi Nicholas, uh, the joy, joy and happiness from having that deep knowing of, of knowing your purpose. And I think that's why I said to begin with, like when you know your purpose is fine. And I find myself now, my passions come and go more frequently now because I've got that middle train of, um, of, of, of purpose. And so the passions come and go really. Well, some, when, when you, through your journey, how many, how many times have like through your journey of purpose, have you kind of, had to twist and adjust along the way. I guess I'm asking this question, like I'll, I'll say up front the, the like why I'm asking. So, so, you know, we can understand that like the journey isn't smooth, right? Yeah. Just because you get out. Yeah. Well, how many twists and turns have you made along the way? Oh, oh I lost count. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's really important, right? I did ask for a very deliberate question because it's not like once you un unveil mm. this thing, it's prob probably, it can be quite a big, uh, what I'm gonna say, what am I gonna say? Um, it's like, um, I was reading that something the other day, like, you know, the way this, some people see carving as mm -hmm. taking away um, chips from the outside of a stone. And then Michelangelo used to say that carving was unveiling from within. So he was unveiling from within as, as opposed to carving from, from the inside out. And that's the way he saw it. And the reason I say that is because when it, it's, it's a matter of uncovering, do you, don't you think? Yeah. Uh, yeah, because uh, I really believe you, you know, like you evolve and your purpose evolve as well. So I see it in many people. Um, like especially the ones who are spiritual teachers, normally they start with, with something like maybe mindset work or something, personal development journey, and then they evolve into this more spiritual side. So as you grow, your purpose will, will evolve as well. It's absolutely natural. So don't expect maybe that it will stay the same in five and 10 or 20 years. But what I, feel is important to mention as well 
um, some people they're more uh, like they have something narrow that they, they love details mm -hmm. like they're more oriented people and normally then they tend to focus like on that more like narrow and dive really deep into this purpose some people are different they call them multi-passionate and there is a name of that and um for these people they um i feel it can be more challenging to find like this direct niche let's say or what they want their purpose to be because maybe they love so many things and sometimes it can be challenging to to put it under one purpose and these people have more a, a global kind of vision yeah. and why I, I think this always has been my problem like mm -hmm. i couldn't just okay just one thing and stop with it and then i feel so much limited and then i was fighting it for many many years until i just got that okay maybe my gift to the world is just to see the global picture and uh, just to see for example how nervous system impacting your leadership your relationships yeah uh, in your purpose so all these kind of things so just uh why i'm mentioning it just be okay if you kind can't narrow like your purpose straight away mm. and say this is just one thing if it's caution i will be teaching about just one thing it's it's fine if you don't like maybe for you your gift is just uh it's just a broader kind of uh, things you're teaching a broader purpose yeah yeah i think you've you absolutely nailed it there um and there's a very kind of while you were talking there was a very just going to read a comment from kev kev so it's so true and then what does it say so true spiral up into your higher purpose standing on the shoulders of previous purpose i really like that kev mm -hmm. but you know move up into your you do i think there's a phrase that like a little phrase that comes to mind and it is done done is better than perfect and we can just like get held up in mm -hmm. um you know wanting to like i we you know when i kind of sort when I, I found my purpose or like i want it to be perfect and actually that drove me into realizing how not perfect it was and actually i had to take time away to work more on myself mm -hmm. to make myself Myself, I give myself a clearer understanding when I had that I had this like bigger picture mm -hmm. of what it was and it was doing this and co you know coaching and working with people and you know helping people to you know find their path and their purpose but actually it was a very very, very big picture and mm -hmm. so I realized that and thought okay well this is a, this is kind of a huge picture I actually needed to take myself away from you know from from the process thinking well how can I, you know, I'm, I've got this huge picture that I'm not really sure of yet. So I needed to go on my own journey. I, you know, besides the journey I've been on, once I found out what I thought my, you know, what my purpose was, I then needed to go on a second journey to say, well, actually, I needed, I need to find this out a little bit more. And in that process, understanding that you're, there's just an underlying purpose and it's always going to refine like it's always going to change but there will be an underlying purpose yes yes yeah and uh, thank you for sharing that um no problem believe um is blocking unlocking and leaving your purpose like maybe say that again sorry what is, the first part in what is blocking unlocking and uh, living your purpose. I think what blocks a lot of uh, what blocks a lot of people is exactly what you said. It blocks a lot of people is that the people I see are blocked because they have too many what they perceive to be too many ideas, mm. and they maybe jumble up their purpose and passion all in one because of that the information that you um, receive. You know what's out there. We all know what's out there on the internet, the stuff that we can listen to. Then that's why I wanted for us to talk about this tonight, because from my experience and your experience, when you jumble up purpose and passion, mm -hmm. then 
it can be very confusing because I, as you've said and, and I've said like passions can come and go your purpose is there but it can be a big one and I think what blocks people is just not understanding what their passion is and and when you think to yourself well I've got so much to give and I could do this or I could do that or I could do this and I could do that and I think you end up in um, just paralysis mm. you know there's so much that you could do and that's definitely what I see with people is there's so much you could do that you end up in you know this paralysis of this big mix which is all good it doesn't mean none of it it doesn't mean any of it's bad <laughs> there could be loads of things that are all about you know good things mm -hmm. but they said you've got to unpick and find mm -hmm. out the one that actually is going to drive you forward on a daily basis and what that means is kind of what we've alluded to a little bit earlier is you'll soon find out whether you're on your purpose when times get shit and times get tough because that's when it becomes hard and if, it, if you're not aligned with it then it, it's it, it's too easy to give up yeah yeah, yeah what, do, what do you think holds people what do you think holds people back there's just one quick comment from kev what's kev saying perfection is a trap um of no i can't read that last one evolving i think it says mm -hmm. i'm quite really careful but yeah thanks for that mm -hmm. yeah i loved what what you are saying uh, like we can get lost in the mixture of our patience <laughs> thinking that it's our help but when things get tough uh maybe you will not uh evolve through this uh, while when it's purpose it's uh, much easier because i feel like i loved to talk about this like soul uh, level because yeah. uh, it's, it's what i learned at the soul level it's already accomplished it's only our personality doesn't seize that and very often actually we uh, don't allow it through being too rigid in our process uh, of trying to realize our purpose through wanting to control everything um and uh, but like when it's coming from the soul and it's your purpose you have much more energy to fulfill it but other thing that i believe are uh, blocking is like the, the stories that we are holding about ourselves like why yeah, yeah. Uh, to teach it, to teach it, or to do it, like all those I'm not enough, or um, all these kind of things, uh, and as well, um, like the money issue, right? Uh, if we become very pragmatic, because um, like if it's purpose, maybe you want to make it your like life's work, and then uh, in the beginning, especially, there is this question: Okay, how I will. Um, be able to pay all my bills if I'm living there. Yeah. So this this as well two major blocks mm. that are big ones, of course. But uh, yeah, mm. when, mm. when when I when it, it brings to mind when I when I with with the, with the process I use um, the one of one of one section of where you know I said we sit in the first we sit in the first section of finding clarity. Mm -hmm. And actually, part of that clarity in the first section is, is the, 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 is the, the actual question is, do you want to make money from this or not? Because for somebody who's got a purpose, it doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean that it is to be something that makes money. It can be, mm -hmm. be something that doesn't make money. That's what I've discovered through, through my work. And so we have to get that out of the way as well. And that's in the first stage of my process is that, okay, this may well be your purpose, but by purpose, do you mean it's something that you want to do for money? And sometimes, even though it's someone's purpose, it doesn't have to be that yeah. you do it for money because your purpose might be, let's say, you might be, it, it might be your purpose to bring um, fresh water to parts of the world that don't have water mm -hmm. right so that could be your purpose and you could be massively like that's my life that's what drives me but it might be something that you do not for money you know mm -hmm. so then that that then drives the rest of your life to say well if that's my purpose what do i need to do to support it and this is the part of my, my life that my work 
that I'd use to bring in money to support my purpose, which is in my downtime, or I take a month off each year or whatever, and I go out to a country that doesn't have clean drinking water, and that's my purpose. So there's levels to finding out, like, is my purpose about something I want to make money out of, or is it something I don't want to make money out of? And the second part of it is, as what you just said then as well, what are those things that you're telling yourself that are holding you back? Like, am I not worthy? Am I good enough? You know, is this going to be financial for me? Is it not financial? So, yeah, those things are, they need to be cleared out of the way. And that's that's the part of clearing the pathway when you get that clear understanding. Yeah. Um, but one of the big questions is, am I gonna, is, is it for money or is it not for money? Yeah. Is a massive question for me. Let me just read one. The Marta yeah. just commented well, then. She said, could you both share your own uh, experience about when you were not aligned with your purpose? Um, and I can't read that last part. Hold on a second. Can you read that part? I can't read commas. I just see them popping up, but then I, I can't. Maybe I can do it on my... Martha said, can you, can you both share your own experience about when you were not aligned with your purpose and how you navigated that? Okay. All you right. go first. Unless you've got something else to say. <laughs> uh, not in alignment with my purpose. Mm. Mm. Yeah, well, it's, it's what I mentioned already. It's uh, when I confused my passion with my purpose. This was uh, uh, one thing. Uh, it's when I thought like this love for dance is, uh, is something I want to do for a living, but actually it was just a pure love for, for the art of dancing. Um, and uh, I, I was investing lots of time into it, but it always felt like, out of alignment and I, I knew it's I knew it's not my purpose right this deep knowing that you have uh, and uh, I know that there was a big ego part who just wanted to stay with it um, but right. but and you need to be careful about that you know like sometimes it's it's we choose something which that other people do and it's uh, it sounds cool it looks cool and we think oh, okay let me do this thing maybe it's my purpose but then i think it's um it's it's a feeling that you're pushing or but it doesn't work work out for you and then you realize okay uh maybe maybe it's not it mm. yes this is what come to my mind uh right now because when I have found what I'm doing uh, today, uh, I think it always felt in alignment. It's just there were lots of um, lots of uh, like redirections, mm -hmm. right? What I really want to, to give to people, um, and I would say like it doesn't feel in alignment if you're forcing it. If you're yes. really forcing it, and forcing yeah. it doesn't mean that you don't make effort but it doesn't mean that you master the skill that I needed to fulfill your purpose, but it's more feeling like you're going upstream and you're pushing it, but uh, it doesn't work for you. It doesn't feel good. You lose mm. the sense of aliveness. Even if sometimes you're tired, you're still alive. Yeah. You're still alive. Yeah. I think um, for me, what was, what was like, I, I agree with you. What was, when, when you're kind of pushing forward and you, you, you kind of know that there's something that's still there um, and you, you're mm -hmm. pushing forward and you, but you still know if you try something that that's, that's kind of not the right thing. Um, but I, <clears throat> to answer your question, Marta, I think you've got to try a few things and make the mistakes. And you have to have the understanding that you've tried something like, oh, I think this is my purpose. And you do have to have a few you know, in, in inverted commas, you have to have a few failures and you have to try a couple of things and think, well, you know, you have to kind of fall off the horse a couple of times um, on the way and think, well, that did, that, that kind of didn't work. And, and actually, you know, I didn't realize, and I realized it didn't work because it's not an alignment. Um, the other <laughs> thing I think you, to be careful of when you're trying to navigate to what your purpose is, is be very wary of outside influences because it's very, uh, it's very easy to, when you say to somebody, and there's, ego involved as well in this in this comment when, when somebody else might say to you oh you know if you're asking somebody about your purpose somebody else might say to you but you're really good at this particular thing whatever it might be 
And, and I realized, well, that's fine. I might be good at that, but I don't want to do it. And mm -hmm. so you've got to be careful, like someone else is suggesting some comments from the outside, well-intentioned comments from the outside saying, well, I think you should do this because you're really good at it. That's cool, but it might, that might not be it. So you can go down that road of the well-intentioned suggestions from family, friends, or people around you. Um, I'm thinking, oh, I'm interested in this um, and go down that road. But actually, that's not it either, you know, and, and it's, it, it's something else. But you've got, to, you've got to be careful about those kind of things. But also, you've got to try a couple of things and to understand what I suppose what I'm saying is you have to understand what isn't your purpose as well as what understanding what is. Yeah. And as a tip, I would uh, offer people, uh, well, just talk to your friends about your purpose and just verbalize it. Um, and then if you will feel that you're pushing something when you're talking about it, if you would feel like it's coming from your head and you're trying to explain too much, maybe it's not it. But if you feel and look, notice as well how your body resonates, like, like go to your core, this area mm. of your navel and feel there how it resonates. When it's your purpose, for me, uh, it feels like this tingling sensations inside of the body, like something clicks, something really resonates. Mm. And know that this is it. But if it feels more like numbness or it doesn't resonate, there nah, maybe it's something else to, uh, to look into. And do this exercise with a friend because it's something magical happens when we share it and someone receives then it gives us much more clarity. Oh, 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 okay. How it sounds for me to share about it. Mm. Yeah, I, I think um, I still get to this day when I'm talking and I still get it when I'm on. Uh, hi, Connor. Um, hi, Abby. Uh, happy birthday to Brett, by the way, Abby. Um, hi, I, 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 I still get to it even last night in a coaching session. I still get it to this day. <laughs> and I, I, when, you, when, you, when you go into your body, like you say, I still get to this day when I'm when I'm on track with what I'm doing with my purpose and I think this comes with a bit of a, you know a bit of knowledge and understanding of going down the line that when you check in with your body you do get that tingling sensation but I still get it at the moment when I'm kind of like on a coaching call I still get goosebumps all over my body when I think oh we're on the right track and so that's when I know um, um, that you know it, it's kind of a little check-in that, um, that that I'm on purpose but you're right um, yeah to say that it's, it's something when you, like your friends and family do, you know, probably know you, um, like I said, they'll give you suggestions, but your, prob your friends and family will probably know more about what your purpose should be um, than you do because we get confused in our heads. When, when it really became apparent to me, when this, as you mentioned before, when the, the unlocking came, when the key came or when the clarity came, if you put it in, in, in terms that I do, all of a sudden, that part of your brain is open, um, mm -hmm. and I believe now, from my understanding, that is called. There's a name for it called, <coughs> excuse me, the reticular activating system. When that is switched on, if you take it to the next stage, your brain will then search out and see the things that are supportive of you. And when I when I unlocked that, even even going back into my house, I could look around and I see. Well, wait a minute. Like every single book I've got on the bookshelf is about personal development, growth, mindset, you know, <laughs> spirituality, chakras, energy, like, and all of a sudden it was like, well, and I'd never seen that in the same way before, even though it was all there, because I was looking at it in a different way. So when you do unlock things, which is why you say we unlock things or we get the clarity, there's a big reason behind it is because then your brain starts working for you and going, now we're looking for the things that we're actually actually are in alignment and they become more apparent to you and I always say with yeah. my, my clients I always say you know go out go out to, okay so it's like when you buy you think oh, I'm going to buy a new car all of a sudden you walk out of that dealership and on the way home you'll see 10 of those cars <laughs> whereas before you wouldn't have seen them your brain is then focused on on what on, on what's going to be good for you so yeah getting that getting that clarity is important yeah and and as you are mentioning about these uh, chakra systems, I want to add yeah. something around how it's related to 
your purpose it's like uh, for me you receive this your purpose is already there when you're born it's something you came here to do right but mm. to, it's in your body and in this physical world you need to pass through all the blockages in your energy system in your chakras and this is this is another i think big blockage is like how to heal all those uh wounds around expressing or uh stepping into your power um mm. because sometimes we will feel resistant to certain purpose certain parts of our purpose because there is a wound maybe it's your maybe it's in your lineage i i know mm. for myself we started to talk about intimacy and a bit about sexuality as well it was a big blockage for me like mm -hmm. i wanted to talk that but like i couldn't because there was such a big blockage and i think it sounded like something coming from my lineage that was there so whatever it is for you you will need to look at this big fear of expressing what you want to express because otherwise you might have this idea it, it passed through your like crown chakra and you have a vision how to realize this purpose but you will not be able to land and to express it because maybe you have some blockage at your throat chakra or somewhere else so it's, it's just interesting to look at all those levels uh, sometimes mm. it's your purpose but you feel that you're pushing it it's something to mention about because somewhere there is a block mm. uh, and you can't realize it because something needs to be cleared out from your system before you can really step into into your power and fulfill this purpose. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think it's, it's it's kind of like the it's in, in, important to and we talked about it a little bit already. Once you find your your purpose that you are, you do keep going. But also you. The, the the work is also still within you you still need to keep going yourself and uncovering more and more and more about yourself mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. understand and, and to clear more and more more and more blockages on yourself and you can start going down that path of whatever your purpose is for the you know you, you the, there's still there's always more uncovering to do and mm -hmm. and the more the more inner work um mm -hmm that you do then and the more uncovering you'll find so really I, I guess what we're saying is that that discovering that uncovering the the um purpose part is really i think some people think well this is what i thought i thought, I thought when i'd gone through a certain amount uh, there's a couple of comments i'll read those in a second from marta i thought there's a certain amount of like i think i thought for my it was you know my 40 years of life before i truly came to it that when i found my purpose that that would be the end of the journey but actually it's the beginning of the journey mm. yes so, you know and and then and, and really is the beginning so i yeah. mean um, it doesn't matter when it comes in life but so yeah for me that you know and, and that beginning is still carrying on about uncovering and uncovering and uncovering and so yeah yeah there's there's always there's more there's more inner work to do isn't there yes but have fun with it <laughs> yeah <laughs> just a lot of fun too i don't we don't want to make it sound really boring and life is really really hard work but it's actually fun and it's fun because you you actually want to do it and your energy comes from mm. within when you when you have to do something it comes from you get that fight from within don't you yeah yeah just uh, we will read the comments but just just one thing about like aliveness I, I i talk a lot about aliveness but aliveness is about feeling everything like sometimes you feel frustrated sometimes you yep. feel angry off, but this is all part, part of aliveness and living your purpose like mastering it even yes. if you feel frustrated about something yeah yeah it really is the good the bad and the ugly yeah and it all needs to come along because it's all part of the picture what comments have we got then marta says when we are open they pour um down in front of us yes absolutely Marta and Kevin says every level as uh, a new challenge I can't quite um, it's quite hard to read on top of that that's what we were experienced and we have to go okay, what I can't quite I can't quite read that so it's difficult to read on I will try to uh. I think 
Martin says that's what when we experience what where we have to we go we go through whatever we meant to yeah absolutely you know the the um the, the journey in the path like i said once you once you uncover your purpose that doesn't make it easy and it's not the end of the journey it's the beginning of the journey i just want to say if you've got any questions anybody's got any questions now um now would be a good time to um put it in the comments box if you've got a question for me and or a question for anna and i think now might be a good time anna to like if to say and unless you've got anything else you want to add particularly to tell people how they can get hold of you uh yeah definitely well um i think i shared everything i wanted to share i just want mm -hmm. to encourage you don't be too serious about trying to find your life purpose the more you relax the more you surrender in a way like surrender can be very active you're just opening your whole system to receive these downloads the easier it will uh, land just just be open to whatever comes to you and experiment make mistakes it's part of the journey as well mm. Uh, how you can find me so I'm present on social media Facebook and uh, Instagram as well these are two major platforms so I won one-on-one -on -one with people I have one big program aligned with your high pass and then I have uh, one more program coming which is about like how you can walk at your body level um, which call, call, called uh, Body Hold the Key, and I will be sharing more uh, details, but it's personal transformation and uh, healing journey, so it touches different level of our human system. Yeah, mm. so this is how Yeah, so, and I just want to, the, the, last, the last part I want to add is exactly the same as well. It's just, you know, try a few th things. There's so many times along the journey, and I've had this, my advice given to me by, coaches and mentors of mine is that you know it's like when you when you try things on if it doesn't fit it doesn't matter like if it doesn't fit it doesn't matter if it doesn't suit you it doesn't matter that's what happens when you go into a shop you know you know that is not always that you find the first thing that fits and suits you straight away sometimes you do so you've got to go through and try a few things on and you've got to have a couple of failures um because there are you know i i i hear it all on social media and i always did and i always thought it was bullshit and a cliche and people say to you, no, no, you've got to fail to learn. And I was like, well, no, I don't want any of that. I just want it to be successful. But you do have to have the failures to learn. Yeah. Um, I agree. Uh, people want to get hold of me. The easiest way is I'm going to drop a link um, in the comments box in the comment box below, which is a link to a free resource of mine, which is a free guide that I've created. It kind of walks you through the steps of um, understanding clarity, understanding what hate. Uh, behaviors are holding you back and creating a path to the future that free guide is if three reasons your life feels unfulfilled and lacks meaning and how to fix it but i'll drop a link for that free guide below in within that free guide there's an opportunity to get a free um, a free one-to-one -one session with me to try and help you uncover that as well so i'll drop that um that's easiest for me and i'll drop that in the link below unless you've got something else that's all for me for tonight yeah. Yeah, um, I think I really enjoyed this conversation uh, with you and uh, thank you for shine, shining your light into the world. And you too. And doing. Yeah, yeah, I really appreciate you. We're getting, a lot, of love. We're getting a lot of love on here now, so other people appreciate it too by the looks of things. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah and let's bring more light and love into this world and expanding our uh, main purpose expanding our capacity to give and receive uh, love whatever it means for you yeah well i mean this, you know doing this is doing this is our purpose right so yeah. if if uh, people watching want to understand that that you know when you follow your purpose you you know you do get it, it is it is enjoyable and it is and it does it drives you forward so um you'll see us again it's been a long time since we've done this so we'll do we'll we'll, we'll do it again very shortly i think yeah and i also want to say while we're on here that kevin kevin's been on here and showing a lot of love and marta and both of those people won't mind me saying that they've both through been through journeys 
trying many, many, many different things and um, before they found their passion and both of those two people have settled settled on where their uh, sorry where their purpose is as well. So and you know they're both off into into the world of their purpose. And they're very different, very different from mine, very different from yours, Anna's Kev's is very different, uh, Martha's is very different. So, you know, there's space in there's space in in um in the world and in the universe for all of us to, to live our to live our purpose. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's do that. Good. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.